Hello everyone, what is up? It's me, AlpyMTG, and I'm extremely, extremely tired. I got back from pre-release, took a nap, and I'm still ridiculously tired. Um, but nonetheless, we've got some magic packs to open up here. We've got a whole bunch of Dominaria. I don't even know how many packs this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. we got 11 packs of Dominaria. Hopefully we can pull some, some decent stuff. We'll go ahead and take a look here at what we can open up. Uh, tomorrow's video most likely is going to be a uh, something along the lines of like a top five takeaways from pre-release or top five uh, moments of my pre-release, something like that. So uh, be sure to look out for that. In the first couple packs we'll go through all the commons and uncommons, but uh, towards the end we'll just go through the uncommons. So Knight of Nubinalia, uh, Deep Freeze, Skirk Prospector, uh, Blessing of Belzenlock, uh, Lanawar Envoy, Guardians of Koilos, Fungal Infection, Pegasus Courser. I should probably put these down here instead so that my shadow stops covering up the card. Uh, Kelvin Raider. Uh, our first uncommon is a very good one in Bolus' Clutches. Uh, Settle the Score. And, oh, did I miss the other? Oh, wait, no, that's right. The Legendary is behind. So our first rare is Cabal Stronghold. Uh, oh, we got a Foil Mountain. That's pretty pretty sweet. Uh, so then our other uncommon would have been this uh, Whisper Blood Liturgist. Uh, but Cabal Stronghold, not too shabby. And uh, Foil Mountain, kind of a, kind of an interesting card. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up this second pack here. Foil Basics are always just something that are kind of nice to have. Uh, even if the artwork isn't fantastic, someone will enjoy the artwork because art is really a whole preference thing. Uh, so someone else will probably enjoy the artwork. Uh, Befuddle, Skirk Prospector, Sergeant at Arms, Coldwater Snapper, Soul Salvage, uh, Mammoth Spider, Mesa Unicorn, uh, Asthir Glider, I believe is how you say that, uh, Fungal Infection, Tragic Poet, uh, first uncommon is Wizard's Retort, second uncommon being Sage of Latinam, uh, our rare being Primeval's Glorious Rebirth, which is kind of an interesting one as well. Uh, and then our third uncommon and our legendary for the pack being Tiana Ship's Caretaker. Uh, so not too bad. What the heck is this token? The Nightmare Horror? I believe there's a saga that makes that. I think that's what that is, but I don't think I actually ever saw the token for it. Again, if if I seem a little bit out of it during this video, like I said, I'm extremely tired. Uh, I, I woke up for class yesterday at like 9 and then went and played Magic from... I worked F&M and then played the entire time from 5 p.m. all the way up until like 10 a.m. Came home, slept for like 4 hours, and now I'm making this video. Uh, Radiating Lightning, uh, Deavent, or Deavent Trapper, uh, Syncopate, Fire Elemental... Cabal Paladin, Adventurous Impulse, Soul Salvage, Grow from the Ashes, Academy Journey Mage, Keldon Overseer, uh, our first Saga that I believe that we've opened, being Chainer's Torment, uh, another Wizard's Retort, uh, Settle the Score, and I believe this means that our rare will end up being uh, one of the legendary cards, so our rare is uh, Joda Archmage Eternal. Uh, so not too bad. That was one of my uh, pre-release promos from my uh, from my pre-release kit. Uh, so now that we've gone through like three packs, we're just going to go ahead and skip right to the uncommons now. The commons are all basically, you know, there's some reasonable stuff uh, in there, but nothing that's, you know, too crazy. So uh, we'll go ahead and skip past the commons, and we'll get right to the uncommons now. Uh, Urza's Tome. Uh, Time of Ice, another Saga. Uh, War Cry Phoenix, and again, I believe this means that our rare slash mythic is a legendary card. Uh, oh, we got the foil first, so Gaia's Protector in foil, and oh, we got a we got a mythic, not too bad. Varric's Blade Wing. Uh, this card put in a lot of work against me. Um, this will definitely be uh, a game that I'm gonna end up talking about tomorrow in that video where I talk about like my top five moments, top five takeaways from pre-release. Is uh, <laughs> my opponent got to play a Varric's Blade Wing against me three times in one game? 
uh, and I still managed to win the game. It was absolutely ridiculous. They kicked it twice, and I still somehow won that game. Absolutely insane, and I can't wait to tell the story tomorrow. Uh, it'll be it'll it'll make for a pretty good pretty good story. So our first mythic of this uh, pack opening being Varix Bladewing. Again, not too bad. Not sure if it'll see a ton of play. But people are suspecting that it might see a little bit of play in the uh, the green red monster builds. Here we have in Bolus's clutches, uh, Sporn Cra Spore Crown Thalid, uh, our rare being Hinterland Harbor, and a foil Power Stone Shard. It feels like we're opening up a lot of foils, uh, and then our legendary creature, another uncommon being Tetsuku. Umezawa Fugitive. Not too bad. Tetsuku is kind of like an interesting card. I don't know if it's good, but it's definitely an interesting one. Uh, again, we're going to skip right to the uncommons. And our first uncommon is actually a reprint. Uh, Skizix. Uh, the Eldest Reborn. This one I think might be one of the best sagas. Uh, Sanctum Spirit, and our rare is Ariel, Knight of Wind Grace. Again, not too bad. Ariel, another card that put in a lot of work during pre-release. Not necessarily for me, but I've seen a lot of people that were up at the higher tables that had Ariel. Uh, so very, very strong card. And again, we'll skip to the uncommons. Our first uncommon being a Spore Swarm, a Sorcerer's Wand, uh, our rare being a Gilded Lotus, again another reprint, and a Slinvoda, the Rising Deep, as the legendary creature from the pack. We have, looks like, four packs remaining, so we are busting through these packs fairly quickly. Uh, again, we're going to skip to the Uncommons. First Uncommon here being a littering phantom, or lingering phantom, sorry. Uh, Sanctum Spirit, Yagmoth's Vile Offering, and our legendary creature is God himself, Yargle Glutton of Urborg. Uh, believe it or not, I, <laughs> despite the card not being fantastic, Yargle being the meme that he is, made it into one of my pre-release decks this weekend. Uh, and <laughs> it was like 9 o'clock in the morning, all of us were sleep deprived. And I said, I cast God himself, and my opponent just looked at the card and laughed. And it was, it made for a fun moment that kind of, you know, gave us a little bit of, a little bit of energy back because of how tired we were uh, that early on into the morning. It, it kind of made for a fun moment to kind of uh, rejuvenate us a little bit. Uh, Fight with Fire, Shield of the Realm, uh, and our rare being a Banalish Marshal, uh, a Foil Knight of New Banalia. And our uh, legendary creature for the pack being Tiana, Ship's Caretaker. Not too bad. Again, another foil. Feels like a lot of foils, but I don't know. Maybe it's maybe I just got lucky with some of these packs. Uh, Eleven packs really isn't enough to truly know. You'd have to go through a couple boxes to know if they actually changed the uh, the amount of foil uh, that you can get per pack. Uh, here we have Nature's Spiral. Sorcerer's Wand, our rare being a Daring Archaeologist, uh, and our legendary creature being Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. Valduk, again, kind of an interesting legendary creature. I don't know if it's necessarily a good one, but definitely a very interesting one. Uh, we are on to the final pack. This one right here has... It's going to have like a foil planeswalker in it, hopefully that'd be nice. Uh, if you guys did enjoy watching me open up these packs, then a like on the video would obviously be appreciated. A comment, tell me how your pre-release went, that would be absolutely fantastic. Anytime I get to hear about magic, I'm always a happy man, so uh, let me know how your pre-release uh, went for you. Uh, again, we're going to skip right to the uncommons. This will be the last pack, as I said. Uh, so, Spore Swarm. Sanctum Spirit, uh, our rare being the Antiquities War, uh, and our legendary creature being a very good one. This card, very, very strong in sealed, uh, and I'm sure it'll be just as strong in draft, if not stronger. Uh, Denitha Capuchin Paragon. So, I guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Had a lot of fun at pre release. Got to make myself some uh, 
some content here with these uh, with opening up these prize packs. Got ourselves quite a bit of magic cards here from the newest set, Dominaria. Uh, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Of course, if you did, a like is absolutely appreciated. Comment, absolutely appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, a subscription, obviously appreciated as well. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys here tomorrow for yet another daily video.